evening. I am Neat. I'm Rox. And this is The, the Bourbon, Bourbon Barrel. Barrel. So, today, if you're watching it, the first day this comes out is Thanksgiving. cock a doodle do. That's a rooster. That's and a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> gobble, gobble. How's the, there you go. There's the noises. He can probably say Happy Thanksgiving to you in Christopher Walken's voice if you'd like. Or so. Murloc, you know. Yes. <laughs> He's good at this. This is not a joke. Like he, you can do the voices. So what's the other one you did after Christopher Walken? You did another one that was like I was like, holy crap, he can do voices again. Like Kermit the Frog. Might have been, but it was good. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully you're having a wonderful Thanksgiving, and uh, or you did have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you're watching this post. Um, is true. there anybody you would like to give any thanks for while well, we're doing our first Thanksgiving episode ever? I, I am think thankful say that. for my parents allowing us to film in their basement. It is very nice. It's a very me. nice basement. I actually just thanked them a second ago when I used their bathroom. I'm also super excited. Thanksgiving is like another week and a half or a week away, right? It's, it's three days. Three four days, days, four days, four away. days away. Yeah. yeah. I'm super stoked to eat a lot of gravy. I don't even want the turkey. I just want the gravy. I, I want the turkey oh, and the gravy. Oh, oh. I guess so, I could eat the turkey. Yeah. The turkey's always dry. You ever spatch a the, turkey? That's the gravy. <laughs> that's the gravy. <laughs> That's why, oh, that's why you put the gravy on the turkey, because turkey is a notoriously dry bird. It's one of those things that is better, <laughs> for me, is better when I'm just mashing it all together. I oh, just yeah. put some turkey, some mashed potatoes, some stuffing, some gravy, some biscuits or whatever. and just you go, Do you go corn or peas? Uh, I don't like either. You can either. Mm -mm. I don't like any vegetables, if you can't tell by my astonishing physique. <laughs> um, I really don't. The closest thing to a vegetable I like is potatoes. Like, mm, you know, baked potatoes or french fries. <laughs> French so, fries on Thanksgiving. I'll eat anything. Right. It's fatty and uh, not good for me. Just so you guys are aware, we do have uh, some sweet, sweet merch. Um, and if you are interested, you can chat along with uh, Facebook, send us an email. Yep. All those things are going to be in the description. So just, we we uh, just got done discussing. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna have some stuff soon. It might be the first of the year. Yeah. This is a busy time for everybody. But but yeah, after you know, let us know if there's anything you want or anything you'd like to see. If you want like you know a coffee mug, keychains. I know the girl we use right now does do some keychains. So uh, tchotchkes. <laughs> just decals like, like we can 90 pieces of flair. You know, <laughs> we can. If you want us to bedazzle something for you, we'll. <laughs> Not do that, no. but that's a terrible idea. But it's spin um, art it though. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd like to thank him for doing this and being the brains behind all of it because he is. It's awesome. I I've said before, I'm so happy to do this. I love doing this. It makes me so happy in a certain personal, singular kind of way that I love my kids and my wife. I'm thankful for them every day. But uh just throw out special thanks to Bird and Night for that one pick they gave us and we got another mm -hmm. one coming it's from true. uh Nulu. Right. Uh, yep. We did not. We we were not gifted this. We did purchase it. Right. Uh, oh yeah. Right. Well, you purchased the wooden belt too. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But he had we as got a, access to it because he put in the, them, he's in the Patreon. I, I bought a Patreon account for them. So yeah. Yeah. For, for that sure. very reason, because I want to know if their taste buds are wackadoodle or if I'm on par with them. Right. right. <laughs> and again, they're proof hounds. Whereas right. we're not. It's we're not as yet. much. No. Yeah. Not not as much. So I give you a hundred. That's not a problem. Um. Right. Right. <laughs> So today we're going to, in Thanksgiving, we're going to do a turkey flight fight thing here. There's three mm -hmm. turkeys. Actually, there's five turkeys, but hey. Gobble, gobble. We got wild turkey single barrel, wild turkey 101, and wild turkey rare breed barrel proof. Yes, that actually is another uh, thank you for uh, my dad because he brought that one out so that we can try it for this Thanksgiving episode. Thank you, Mr. Neat. So, <laughs> thank you, Father Neat. If you will. So anyway, what would you like to start with? Now we got 100, 100, or 101, 101, and this one's about 112. Which should we put this in the middle at the end? I think we'll put it at the end, right? At the end? The sure. 112? Sure, sure. Because go up and proof, right? Yeah. These are both 101. So do you want to, where do you want to start? What do you think? Right to left? Left right to right? Left, left However, to right? You guys will probably see it left to right, but it's right to left for us. Right? <laughs> it's, you just calm down in there. Anyway. Well, this is Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel. Uh, let's see, it was bottled on June 24th of 2021 from barrel number 2400. None, none of mine have 69 in them like his seem to all the time. Giggity. <laughs> Rick number 18. Uh, so I assume you that's the Rick... Um, where it is in the warehouse. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always want to say Rick house, so I'm assuming that's 
Rick number 19 mm-hmm. must be, yeah, like a... In the Rick house. Either a level or like, a row or yeah. both, maybe, mm-hmm. for one them. Of the, one of those. Uh, 50.5% ABV and 101 proof. So, Jimmy Russell, Eddie Russell. Yeah, so hey, did we not... Okay, we did. Ready for the uh, pop? Took the, uh, yeah. Oh, you know you like it. It so, actually looks, uh, maybe it's your hands on it, but it looks kind of dark. Well, you know... <laughs> No, nothing I have to say with a dark joke nothing is I, it's not going to go in a and place that's that how we go. got kicked off the YouTube that's right <laughs> this will be the last episode you ever see so uh, All right, I'm going to put a little bit in there that's not... here's a question that's uh, just perfectly fine to ask on camera while we're talking if we do a... seven Oh, all right. Excellent. <laughs> I was going to say, how many bourbons are you going to buy me for Christmas? So, hey, oh, look well, at that. Shit. I know, right? <laughs> I did just spin that. I wasn't going to ask that. But I was going to ask about Christmas. And I was going to say, and you guys can watch. Like, Should we do a holiday? Well, Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. We celebrate Christmas, but whatever you celebrate is yours. Um, should we do, if we do an episode for that, like we're doing turkeys for Thanksgiving... Uh, should we do something where we buy each other something and we open it and just yeah. set some sort of price point? Like, let's for not sure. go let's, over, you know, not two to four thousand two eighty five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. Fifty. We can. We'll discuss that too. Fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, whatever. But yeah, probably not over a hundred before Christmas for a guy yeah, with three kids no. and and you. Um, <laughs> so I do what I want. He doesn't have three kids <laughs> that he's been told about yet. Um. So. <laughs> You can find his DNA profile on... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 23 and me. 23 and me, that's right. I used to tell people jokes about this at work. Like, you know, guys don't want to do that. Because no. you don't want to have somebody show... Like, my wife did it and... They, they catch murderers with that shit, man. They catch what? Murderers. And, well, that's a good thing. Don't, like, that's, that's someone's, awesome. Someone's, like, uncle or something, like, got one of those DNA profiles and it was, like, a partial match to, oh, yeah. like, this DNA that they had for, like, a cold case, like, 20 years ago. And that's and awesome. And it was, like, his that's brother awesome. or something. It's nuts. It, I... The only thing about that is what if you, again, like, what if there's a bunch of money or you're some, like, connected to some, like, holy crap, you're... Yeah. Warren Buffett's son, I don't know. No, he, his know. son, he knows who he is. He's taken over. Well. Don't get me started on I, I guarantee you he probably had some sort of illicit affair about, oh, let me think, 47 years ago. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm bald like him. I'm chubby like him. His money's mine. So. <laughs> I'm coming for it. Here you go. Cheers, Cheers to Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Mm, that Hope smells, you enjoy the football. That smells warm. Single barrel. It's warm. Honestly? For a what, not lie one? to him. Just lie. <laughs> it's awful. It's terrible. Why are we doing this show? I hate the show. <laughs> it's, it's 101. It's good. No, for 100 proof, it's, it's not bad in the burn area. No, no, not at all. I'm, I'm a fan. So, what, do you know what you paid for this? That one was right. So, that one was the one that, uh, like, back in one of our first episodes, I kind of mentioned it, uh, second or third episode we did, where he... He ter- tells me what to buy with certain books and stuff, and he bought a book for me. And I said, do you want the money for the book, which was, so this was about 51 mm-hmm. 51.99 or fifty ninety nine. Okay. It was just a hair, just, it had 50, just a hair over. And I told, because the book I, he bought for me that I paid him back for, I said, you can have this bottle, but you don't know what it is, or you can have the 50 bucks, and he wanted the 50 bucks, and that was the bottle that I bought. I made a mistake. Because I'm a, <laughs> and, <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't, it's good. It's definitely good. No, this is fan, really for good, sure. actually, like. And it, again, now this I'm is a nose. single barrel. We've never had three in one of our three flight fight sort of episodes we do where anyone was a single barrel. This is because our first single barrel offering. Single single barrels will change mm-hmm. depending on the barrel. This is a very good barrel. I mean, honestly, like I'm getting like almost like a cinnamon, like a like it, it, it's appropriate for a, a warm, holiday. A warm cinnamon sugary, um, almost like a gingerbread, but not like. The back end almost has a like a warm toast, toasty. I don't know nutty, if it's wood. Nutty, I don't know. Nutty, wood, nutty. Yeah, nutty. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nutty for sure, for sure. Wow, it's got the nut. This is this is really Ooh. good. Like, it's. I'm a fan. I've never opened a bottle of that before in my entire life. Of any barrel. I've never had a wild turkey. Really? Ever. Here's an interesting fact I learned last night that I did not know. Wild turkey has wild turkey as a company has only one mash bill. That's it. One mash bill across the board, and they proof it up and down where they want to, and they say they never... No, wait. I might be thinking of the wrong one. 
N never mind. They, it's only one mash bill. Scratch So it. they up and down. There's <laughs> one of them I was just watching that they, some company, and it might be Wild Turkey and it might not, so I don't want to say it and be wrong completely, that they say they don't use water to proof it down. What do they use? But it's, they, so the, I believe, and I would like to shout out and say happy Thanksgiving to the people I watch the most, and it's either, it's Bourbon Night, it's Bourbon Real Talk, the Whiskey Dictionary, and now sometimes Whiskey Vault. Mm -hmm. um, those guys seem kind of like me. They're kind of a little scraggly with a little scraggly beard and so on and so forth. I'm trying to grow mine out. I'm All trying right. to be just like you. I don't do that. So, <laughs> you know, there's only one of me, thank God. But um, Not with this, that is, this is tasty. That is really good. The like, only wild turkey I think I've had is the 101. And I loved it and I hope I still uh -huh. love it. And they have a new bottle design now. If you can't get a good glimpse of that, we'll you've got the turkey you. etched yeah. instead of the old label that was just a big splatter label. label like, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is good. That's really good. Like, I'm a fan. I, I'm sad that that's just a single barrel because I, I would be hesitant to buy anything that's not that barrel. Right. And it's, you know, but on the same token, it would make me more apt to buy a single apt barrel. Apt to buy a single barrel, barrel of this to until we get an ass sucking barrel, which right. there's probably one in the one. batch, yeah. you know. But that's really good for a single barrel. Wow. It is. I'm, like, I'm definitely a fan for sure. So. Now, if you had to say for you know Thanksgiving turkey, all that, if there's a specific food that you look forward to the most for Thanksgiving, Stuffing. is there one stuffing every day? Is every it homemade or is it uh, sto stovers or stovetop or whatever uh, it is? Sometimes. No, sto so stovetop stuffing. Stovetop stuff, 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 stuffing. Not stovers. Stovers has stuffing too, don't they? Don't judge me. It's stovers stovetop. Is it? Is it? Yeah. There. See, ha! You <laughs> thought you were thought you were catching me. You don't know. Uh, yeah, no, especially the shit that like you put up the bird's ass and take out. That's well, the <laughs> it's I got mean, all those drippings in it. There's no holiday <laughs> is complete without pulling something out of some animal's ass. Could you so... just imagine like an alien civilization coming down and watching us celebrate this holiday? They put bread up the ass of a bird, <laughs> yeah, take it do. out and eat it. Yeah, so like... <laughs> we didn't find intelligence. Just go somewhere else. Just go age yourself a sea bitch. You oh. know, you need to... So yeah. It's, like, it's wild stuff. What other kind of weird as <laughs> what other weird holiday like traditions do you like that are normalized would you think are like weird if you were like an outsider from like earth or culture even? Like what And or what kind of weird things do you do in your family? Yeah. Do you have some weird thing? Like I don't Do you guys ask... like throw cranberries at each other or like something like that? <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, there was a, and she could be watching this because she's, uh, she's on my Facebook, but there, I had an ex-girlfriend from 25 years ago, a long, long time ago. She's happily married, nice lady. She's a tax accountant or something. Um, still sort of local. Um, that, uh, my, my brother-in-law and I were just talking right before this show. We had, there was a Thanksgiving where she showed up late because she had to go to her family's and I was at mine or whatever. And we, we, I got the whole family together to make her believe we all drank a glass of turkey juice every year for Thanksgiving. No, and we got didn't. it right oh, out of the, you know, the, just the nastiest turkey jizzy nastiness. <laughs> jizzy. That's a word I've never came up with before with a Y at the end of it. Um, so, and we tried to get her to drink it and she got it to the point of sipping it and then we told her to stop. But it's a, it's a hilarious <laughs> story we have. I didn't even bring it up today. I was like, what's going on on Thanksgiving Day? Because we're obviously pre-recording this a little bit, so we can spend Thanksgiving with our families. Right. And I don't think we won't be drinking. You yeah, know? I'm, I'm probably going to be drinking something in the, the turkey, wild turkey family. There you go. And go get some. And, uh, yeah, and my brother-in-law brought it up, not even me, and it was my, you know, girlfriend. He was like, remember the turkey juice? And I was like, oh my god, yes. Fun fact, so I was watching uh, How It's Made, mm. and uh, they were talking about making these, like, sandwiches, and one of them was... And there's just a jizz of mayonnaise on the bread. And I was like, that is not the right word there. <laughs> there's just a spunk of mayonnaise just on this. Just a jizz of mayonnaise. <laughs> it's like, nope. Nope, that's, that is incorrect. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never eating that sandwich. That is so messed up. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, anyway huge so, fan. We yeah, got, that was uh, really good. Wow. We that, got the I'm Wild so... Turkey 101. So, I know that uh, there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, bourbon snobs like ourselves, and they're like, you know, wild turkey's like a bottom shelf kind of. This was an uncorking. We just did this. I didn't yeah. make the pop first. That's... <laughs> you Sorry. wanted to make it pop. You'll make get sizzle. over that. Make it sizzle. Make it pop. Don't touch me there. Okay, you. That's fine. That don't impress me much. <laughs> I like the new bottle design. I was just telling him. I might have said it just now. Yes, you did. Yeah, yeah. It was very I like cool. The bottle design. I think it's better. I think um, it makes it look. Yeah, it looks more you know, like elegant. I would buy that. Like not just like a wine bottle filled yep. with bourbon. Yep, yes. Yep. 
Absolutely. Like, I have this over here, the smoke wagon, and they've done a lot of intricate stuff on it and put that in there, but at the end of the day, it looks like a fucking wine bottle. And that's a, La- and that's a Las Vegas yeah, bottle. So, so. I don't know. Well, yeah, there's a lot of... I understand the reasoning behind the wine bottles because they're cheap and effective. Right. Like, I get it. But at the same time, a unique bottle, a cool bottle is something It's that part I, of the journey. Yeah. Like, that's, some of the bottles are just... That's like something you can show off. Like, check this out. It's got a turkey in it. Or if, uh, check out my, uh, what is it, the... the Willet. Rabbit. Pot still. I was thinking the ra- rabbit hole. Oh, because there's, yeah. there's a rabbit etched into it. Right, so. right. The Willet pot still is a, literally a pot still. Yeah. Right. Um, it, it, the bottles are totally part of the journey and they're cool and I think what we look out for is the one that is the coolest looking bottle but we've never heard of whatever it is you know what I mean don't buy it if it's a bottle you've never heard of just because of the bottle at least do some research look at where it comes from look at what it is Willet is a very famous distillery uh, so I as well, well I haven't even bought that bottle yet I haven't had it did you say you have or haven't no, no. I haven't had the Willet it's something we'll buy because it's not outlandishly priced. One of us sooner or later will. It's like forty bucks. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just so crazy. weird and to it's like. Will it. The problem I have with that bottle is just like, it's so like hard to find a spot for it because of how wide the base is versus the. Thin it's little. true. It's true. You're right. So you're it'll take up here. a lot of room. It will, but it'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. it'll it'll be a you know yeah. So it'll be but, cool. So I get it. We're gonna go with Wild Turkey One Hundred One. Easily hey. one of my favorites. Before we started the show, I haven't had it since like during it all. I had bought you one should, bottle. Loved you should it. Get that nose in, man. I remember thinking oh, I it, that nose. it was so smooth it's, for a One Hundred One that I was. I'm not. I'm know. not getting that alcohol taste. That smell. I'm getting no, like not a, at all. I'm getting a sweet smell almost. Like yeah. I say we go in. Cheers. Thanksgiving and cheers and all that. Gobble, gobble, bitches. Okay. I gotta go back for two. Yeah, me too. But, uh... But, um... I really like that. But, um, um... I... You're right. That's for... And what did you pay for this bottle? Twenty. The Wild Turkey 101 is about 27 where we live. You're not gonna find something much better than that for 27 bucks and in in retrospect as we said the yeah. other one was 50 so it's basically twice as much not quite right um for the same proof but you're buying the single barrel versus this and this is just i mean mm. i've told mm. you before like leading up to the show this was basically my favorite like i, I can see why like it, it's so it's, silky it's sweet there's a sweet there's i don't know what that is but that's sweet and it's I think it's that jizz you spoke of. It could be. But, yeah. Um, that might be sweet. I'm not really sure. Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell everybody my secrets. Like, it moves. So. I've never, yeah. No, that's, there's like a, almost like, I think that is like a, almost like a, a cranberry, a cherry, or some type of like dark fruit. There is something um, about it that just, I, I always honestly, use the word smooth. You're better with the adjectives. You very, You truly are. I have a copious diction, sir. He does. He does. <laughs> if you were here, you could see it. It's right down there. But um, you can't see someone's diction. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I made you sound good. You kind of shot it to hell. Like, but uh, you know. Anyway, no, that's actually like wow. Like just wow. Like a hundred one proof, and the taste that you get out of that. Yeah. There's you could. I wonder if uh, for twenty seven bucks, well, I could drink that straight or mix it, and I don't yes, care. Yes. Like that's amazing. Yeah, and uh, as I do you know, said on, did I say it on the air about the uh, the match bell, or was yes, that prior yes, to you did. Okay, yeah. yeah. Only one match bell does wild turkey have, which would make sense that these taste kind of similar. Yeah, there's, there's a sweetness to both of them. The color is pretty close. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean the one's a little darker, but no age. Which statements. makes sense because this is a barrel. No, that's the barrel proof. Yeah, this, this is, is a barrel proof. This is rare breed. But barrel this is proof. still a single barrel, so yeah. Which makes sense because those look like are they? No, they're not quite. Are they? I say are they the exact same bottling? But it's close, but it's not. There's a the shoulder yeah. is more narrow than on that one. So. But, um, yeah, that's that's really cool. The, the wild one. turkey always sounded generic to me. It's it's a like, it's a bottom shelf bourbon almost. Like it's on it's like right down there with like the old Randads and things like that. that yeah. You're gonna find and like the yeah. the BV black. I, I still haven't bought the eighty proof. The, mm-hmm. Their baseline is their wild turkey eighty proof, which is watered do, down to the I point. I meant of, to do that, but I didn't. Ah, no, this is perfect, man. This is awesome. 
But, this, is, this is a great Thanksgiving. Yeah, these are Even great. though it's not Thanksgiving Day yet for us. Yeah, do yourself a favor and go out and find yourself one of at least one of these two bottles. I don't know about the third one yet, but yeah, this will go very well with your Thanksgiving meal. I guarantee it. Like I'm this, a huge fan. If you had some both cran- now, yeah, yeah, both like I didn't, didn't know about the single if, barrels. If you go out and you eat some gravy and mashed potatoes and you have a a glass of this with it, you're not going to be disappointed at all. Neither apple pie or pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is disgusting. I like apple pie. I'm sorry. Do you are you a pumpkin pie guy? I like pie. I like... <laughs> I like Take great pie. offense. <laughs> you don't like my pie. <laughs> I'm not a pumpkin pie man. I apologize firsthand. So, I don't mm. know what to tell you. It's just not my thing, man. Oh, but man, that is... Apple is pie. So good. And the apples have to be sort of soft. If you cook it too fast and I'm crunching every apple, it's just like... Yeah, it's just, yeah. That's, again, my opinion. If you like crunchy apples, eat the Sam's shit Club, out of those. Sam's Club apple pie. Thank me later. It's there like, you know. It's like five, six bucks. It's huge. Fair enough. Like you have to cut it into squares. You can't cut it into pieces. I have to have ice cream, too. It has to be apple pie and ice cream. So put that so pie in the microwave. My wife is right now making apple crisp. Delicious. Yeah, she's good at it, too. She's she's mastered it. It wasn't as good as when we first dated as it is now, 17 years later. Perfection. It's, it's special. It makes my... Yeah. Special places quicker. I mean, there is there is so much going on here. I'm I mean, a fan. I'm never gonna say I'm not. It's it's yummy amazing. as hell. It's, it is. It's super good. But and again, for the price point, we don't really. I think when we were doing some of our rankings and ratings and discussions and mm-hmm. other shows, we uh, we always discussed like I was using the price point in it, and he wasn't as much. And I think where some of that comes in is, for instance, like when I was looking at some of our stuff in the past. Yeah. Um, was the 15 year Knob Creek. Is like a hundred bucks or more. Hundred fifteen, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's not that it's not good, but when I can, and I feel like in a blind or you know just doing it like this, when I can say I would just as I just like this about as much as this, and I'm not even really sure hundred percent if it's this or this, but mm-hmm. this one's hundred fifteen dollars, and this one's Evan Williams seventeen eighty three, which is twenty, or this which is twenty seven. Like, Elijah like, Craig, it's like yeah. What would you buy? One of these or four of these? Right. And like you know it's. Don't be fooled by the name. Like I said, Wild Turkey made me think it was... Yeah, generic, like, yeah, low-brow. Yeah, like I had seen that like, when I was a kid. Yeah, like, Wild like, Turkey. But now I'm like, oh, it's been al- around that long. So That's what the alcoholics drink. Right. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, this is actually very good. <laughs> I saw that uh, when I saw somebody reviewing the Long Branch, which we don't have yet. Eventually we'll grab we'll one. There. It's not expensive. It's it's in our ballpark. It's 35 bucks. Yeah. Um, the Matthew McConaughey. All uh, right, all right, all right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, he likes to strip. I saw Magic Mike. What? Don't judge me. Anyway, um, that because that line is kind of classic where he's like, you know, it's against a lot of touch us, but I see a lot of lawbreakers out there tonight. Like, <laughs> uh, even I, I, I was like, that wow, movie. I'm not gay, but I got closer right there. Oh my god. Um, Unless Ryan Reynolds is in that movie. It's I'm right. not touching any of them. I'm, it, was, it was hilarious, but uh, nonetheless, what, what I saw was until, and, and you know, okay, a couple things. One, they didn't put anything out with um, Matthew McConaughey's name on it until 2018, and he has been had been employed there for over two years. Like he had been there, you know, consultant since 16. So as I saw this on one of the shows I mentioned, they were mentioning too, like, well, you know, it wasn't like he just showed up and let's throw his name on something. He actually had some play and he tasted and he, you know, he was part of it. So that's cool. And number two was in all the history of Wild Turkey, which goes back. I think over... Uh, it's in 1800s, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's old. It's really old, all right? It's not. It's older than me, which means it's probably dead. More than um, 60 years. Yeah, so I'm not 60. What the hell does that mean? Don't tell them. I'm, sick. I'm not sick. I'm 60 pounds overweight. That's different. Jesus. It's not the same, but... That was not self-deprecation if I ever heard it. <laughs> I'm definitely not 60 pounds overweight. 20 or 30 or whatever. Okay, so aged for at least six, if not eight years. There you go. So, I mean, that's there that's a bonus because you only need the four, right? I hadn't read that bottle. Yeah. I had had the old one with the big label and loved it. And since now he's doing the research here, reading the bottles. So, they okay, so yeah. And I did taste like a very caramely vanilla toffee kind of spice in there. Yep, yep. So, yeah, no, they're, that label's spot on. He, uh, so the, the Long <coughs> Branch is the first bottle in the history of Wild Turkey that has anybody's name on it other than a Russell, Jimmy, or Eddie, which one's the dad, one's the son. I want to say Eddie's the dad and Jimmy's the son, but I could be wrong. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Russell has been the master distiller for 60 years, so I'm guessing he's the dad. So Eddie's the son. Okay, yeah. Just like in Munsters. 
You know what I mean? I was right, right? Monsters, Eddie is little is Eddie the kid. Monster. Yeah, that's right. Yay! All right, see, told you I was old. You just gotta try your bourbon. So now, <laughs> your next our next move here. So now this was your bottle. So if you would like to say anything about this bottle, I know nothing. Okay, this is actually my dad's bottle. Fair enough. So fair enough. And thank is... you very much for letting us yes, use Mr. this. Yes, Mr. Neat. Yes, Mr. Neat, Sir Neat, if you will. Sir, he's part yes. of the robes. He has a robe that we are not, we oh, do not yeah. have yet. Mm. So yeah, no, that's uh, definitely. And so he always tells me, and this is me imparting my father's wisdom onto you. Those of you who have bourbons and have corks, what you're supposed to do every, at least once a month, is you're supposed to tip them upside down to wet the cork. And this stops the cork from aging and little brittle. Disintegrating. Getting brittle and going into your bourbon. Interesting. And so that way it keeps it fresh and that way you're not losing to oxygen, lots of things. I always like to keep so. all the little knobs wet. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... I'm not drunk, but that was funny as shit. <laughs> We've often told you we're very inappropriate. This is not Wildly for children, so you should just deal with that. Hide your like kids. Hide your wife. That's right. <laughs> this is not their kind of show. Well, well maybe it's your wife's kind like of show. About three percent of women, like three point five percent, beautiful women watching us. Right. <laughs> Most, most dudes, but 3.5% beautiful women. If you haven't visited us, uh, please subscribe, <laughs> please like us. Uh, yeah, if you get any type of enjoyment, we would greatly appreciate a like. We would. Or a, 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 I like a, a like. Or share it with your friends and tell them, look at these two shit. chuckleheads on the YouTubes making right? fun of themselves. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. We are here to hopefully educate you to some degree. If you're like me, and I'm the type of person who likes to learn through watching things, I'm very visual... I'm not, I can read articles and I can read poetry and stuff like that, but when it comes to long, drawn out things, I like to visualize it. And this is what we're here to try to help you with. And like, and we're very blue collar, that's another thing. Like, we're not snobs, we're not, you know, a oh, wild turkey. Like, it's not, that's beneath me. Like your mother was last night. Wow. Anyway. She's upstairs. So. I'm not you, I'm not talking to you. He's not a snob. I'm talking about snobby people. And then I'll hunt their mom. Um... Such a terrible thing to say. My apologies to my wife. I'm not humping anybody's mom. Except my kids. <laughs> that made total sense. It does, right? It's, yeah, right. it's messed up way to say <laughs> things, but it made sense. <laughs> you know what? Do you though? just like go home and like find your kid and like, hey, guess what I'm gonna do to your mom? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I don't have to find them. I know right where they are. So anyway. <laughs> Stuff, man. This is kind of how you should enjoy your Thanksgiving. You'll have some fun, laugh with your friends and family, For sure. have some wild turkey. I have not. Ta Did you taste? This? I haven't. I smelled okay. it, and now we're I'm, going up twelve I'm, points in proof. I'm gonna be honest so. with you. I can smell the, the twelve points. I, it's it's a little really? more burn in that in that nose. I yeah, don't... all right. I, I get the yeah. It's not as yeah yeah yeah. I got you. It's a little more. Yeah, there's a lot more. I want to say there. viscous, yeah. but I'm not sure if I'm saying using that right till I taste it. Well, viscous it's, would be like, is it more sludge like? In yeah, more body though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if I you? taste the body. So, I mean, I would like to taste the body. Anyway, put them in a body bag. <laughs> right. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's your favorite? Okay, we've discussed like Thanksgiving. I think across the board, anywhere, anybody almost remotely in our age bracket, you're gonna get planes, trains, and automobiles a lot. Okay, because there's not, A, there's not a lot of ton of Thanksgiving movies, mm -hmm. period. And B, you could characterize it as a holiday movie, which is fine too. Um, but you get that a lot. So I guess my, what I would say was, would you have a favorite holiday movie that like around so, this time yes. year and or after One of my favorite memories of... Did you taste this? Yes, I okay. did. Okay. I tasted the first time. One of my favorite memories of Thanksgiving is going over to a... Uh, large family reunion and in the basement we watched Scrooge. Nice. Bill Murray. Awesome. And it's because it's like awesome. end of Thanksgiving, start of Christmas season. Scrooge. Perfect movie. Great mm -hmm. movie. It's it's based on the Scrooge tale but yep. with, with Bill, Bill Murray's Murray. twist. Yep. And it's super funny and it, Lumpy. when I was when I was younger it scared the crap out of me when he met Marley because that was awful terrifying stuff when I was young and special effects weren't like you know all that <laughs> All they are now. There wasn't a lot of CGI back in the 80s. <laughs> Early 90s. 
Um, it's those random lines that like yes. the bitch hit me with a toaster. <laughs> He's just like. So I do like to watch Scrooged on Thanksgiving. I think it's a wonderful movie for that type of. Thing. I love Scrooged. I watched it every holiday season. Yes, still absolutely. do. Absolutely true. And there's the classic favorites, the Christmas vacations mm -hmm. and the planes, trains, and automobiles. And there's I still like the Jim Carrey Grinch. Oh yeah, I just. How can you you know, I, I it's like because it. I'm green, isn't it? Like, you know, you totally like they, they make racial jokes and it's still funny because it's, it's not really, you know, putting yeah. anybody down or right. something. It's I don't know, but he did he did like eight or nine hours of makeup every day before he started Dude, that. Yeah, and you know, Ron Howard filmed one whole day in full makeup so he would know what Jim Carrey went through. Wow. Like he, he stayed for eight hours before he even started filming as the Grinch himself. I, I, that's how much like I've watched all the bad behind the scenes. Whatnot, that's crazy. And, and I think Jim Carrey did a killer job. Like, it, mm -hmm. I don't know. And Anthony Hopkins being the narrator, like just That's his voice. so good. Like, I love Anthony oh, Hopkins. Oh, God. The day he dies will be a sad day for me. It will. It will. He was, oh, my God. He still scared me. And, I mean, Silence of the Lambs. Did you, so did you ever hear about what he did during the Hannibal release in movie theaters? I don't think so. Okay, so. Please share with us. Fun fact. Uh, Anthony Hopkins went to a screening of uh, Hannibal. Mm -hmm. which came out in different clarities but still anthony hopkins as hannibal right. and during one of like the scariest parts of oh. the movie he just got up behind the guy in front of him and goes hello clarice <laughs> and scared the shit out of the guy like he's on the screen but he's right behind me what do you do <laughs> i it could be a brightly lit sunny day, and if Anthony Hopkins said something to me in that voice, and it could be everybody around me laughing and stuff, I would be scared. Like my pants would need to be changed. Yeah, it's. <laughs> it could be out on a Fourth of July picnic. This is <laughs> that's good too. This is smooth. So this is a little bit smoother than these, even though the proof is higher. Okay, but I like the flavor profile of these two more than I like the I'm flavor take profile. One last Go sip. for it, man. I'm trying to go slow because that's how I want to do it. Don't judge me. There you go. Just a little sip, sip, sip. Like, there's still notes of both of these in here. Yeah. They're all very similar in color, too. Yeah. Like, again, with one mash bill, you know, I mean, essentially, they're just watering it down to what they want it at. But... Aside from this, which they didn't this one has more this, barrel proof. This one has more so, burn. Does that have a um, age statement on it, if it's barrel proof? Like, how long was it in there? I'm gonna learn today. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday movie? Hey, you want to know something? Here you go. I'll give you an obscure one that I guarantee... I, I, at least I think probably none of you is. Our channel's not that big yet, but you need to tell all your friends to watch or you're going to get coal in your stocking. Anyway, um, and you don't think I don't know who Santa is? Look at the beard. Yeah, I'm related, so tell people, goddammit. Anyway, <laughs> or gosh darn it. Sorry. Gosh That's darn fine. It. Gosh darn it. 1855 is when they started, but no, it doesn't have anything no, on it. Barrel as far proof, as, though. Yeah. Right. It's very, it's, they're all good. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it's hard to explain in a certain type of way, but, like, I think you grow up and as you're just getting into the ages, like, I didn't, I liked beer. I didn't start getting into whiskeys and bourbons for, like, five years ago, maybe, or yeah, something, right? Yeah. Total. And you just see those labels all the time, and you're like, wow, turkey, well, you know, and there's probably other ones like that, too. Oh, yeah, like, the Maker's Mark is, like, it's been around for ages, and you know that red wax. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is an iconic thing, that red wax, but Maker's isn't bad, either. Old granddad. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of, yeah, those, you know, just Jack Daniels, just Jim Beam playing, like, white label, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I feel like it's got more hold. Yeah, there's a lot like more I'm burn. catching more hold. It, I don't know that... smooth in the mouth. Did uh, uh, did uh, Sir Neat uh, by any chance share with you what that cost? No. His regular rare breed is about forty-two. The single barrel is about fifty. One. Honestly, or two. I don't know that he would remember how much he paid for it. Right. <laughs> I've never, honestly, got around here. I've never seen that bottle in our local stores. That's barrel right. proof rare barrel. breed. And so I see rare breed a lot. The difference and I hear... between barrel proof and single barrel is the fact that. Barrel proof just means they took it out of... They could have taken it out of many different barrels and mixed it, blended it that way. But they didn't. Did they? Barrel proof? Yeah. They could have. They could have? They could have taken Wouldn't it out have, of several oh, barrels. Oh, yeah, because they don't use as it in small they batch. Don't, or they don't say single barrel, so... Right. The single barrel is definitely out of the same barrel. Right. This could be out of multiple barrels that's been uh, blended. Right. Good call. Neat. Excellent. Excellent. He just shares smart knowledge with me all the time. I thought that was a pretty... <laughs> 
wise man. He bought thing. us appetizers today. That's a wise he did. man thing to do. I showed up and he <laughs> and he had Applebee's on a date night because you know I don't know. This is the closest I'm gonna get to a date for a while, so. <laughs> Hey. I'm gonna be special. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna take you to Applebee's I'm on a date night. <laughs> Let, let's save the terrible country singing for the next episode. Oh, um, good news, guys. We can't actually monetize this video now, <laughs> right? <laughs> but you can. You can send money in. No, you can't. I don't know. I got no I joke for that it's, yet. It's fine. So don't don't send us. Sorry. Out. Um, but no, yeah. No oh wait, yeah, I got wait. It, it, the movie's called With Honors. That's the name of it. It's from 1995 or something. It was very you, you, to find it now. You'd probably buy it on Amazon Prime for 2.99 or something. Joe Pesci, Brendan Fraser, Patrick Dempsey. I Patrick forget Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey and the girl's name. I forget Mo- Moira Moira Kelly maybe. Um, it's a story about how he's a bum. And they're all Harvard students, and they all come together and learn. There's a lot of learning and stuff going on, but, and it doesn't even revolve around Christmas. But Christmas and the holidays are in the middle of the movie and stuff. And I watch it every Christmas because it's just a great, great like story and lesson, and makes you think of everybody else in all the situations and circumstances they go through in life, and maybe makes you understand the things you do have and appreciate them more and stuff like that. It's just, but it's also a great movie. It's hilarious and it's. You know, I, I can't even express, but with honors. The, the only copy I have is an old DVD copy, and it's so old that, do you remember DVDs where there was like a lip around, and you had to you pop, had to the, pop lip the lips, and yeah. then open the thing, and it, that's how old it is, and nice. I still watch it every Christmas, Thanksgiving, holiday season, if you will. So, give it a shot. With honors, Joe Pesci teaches at Harvard when, he, he literally upstages in the middle of it a Harvard professor who tries to talk down to him. Nice. Like on in the middle of a class where it's all full of students, and he wasn't supposed to be there, but Brendan Fraser brought him in as a guest. I love Brendan Fraser. Like I don't give a shit. I don't know about George of the Jungle though, dude. I don't even mm. care. George of the Jungle is funny shit. I love be... Brendan Fraser. <laughs> I would hang out with Brendan Fraser like today. Oh, I would hang out with I Brendan would get, Fraser. I would buy all his beers for an evening. Brendan all Fraser, day. if you ever find this video, contact me. Come hang out with me. I will buy you a meal and several beverages if you want. He'll buy you Applebee's on a date I'll, night. On a date night, <laughs> he will. <laughs> It's I don't I didn't I don't I don't always I think him. you're I just, a cool as shit dude and I would love to hang out with you man. That was Patrick Dempsey <laughs> when Pat, before Patrick Dempsey was McGray's Anatomy yeah. yeah and he's and his lines are hilarious and there's a lot of good humor the type of humor him and I appreciate which is mostly sarcastic but not all um, it's check out waiting me, you'll, with you'll get us a lot better if you check out waiting yeah and we were both <laughs> were so, servers fun at fact, different times. I actually served Patrick Dempsey at when, Al- Olive Garden when we worked at Olive Garden because yeah. uh, the one. Young lady that I know yeah, has pictures with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was also a not a great tip back then. No, <laughs> you're a dick. Maybe it's because like, I'm a dude. Oh, you're a dick, Patrick. No, I'm just kidding. No. You're not. You're not. It, I, it's so long ago. I don't even care anymore. Whatever. He plays Patrick like Dempsey. the eccentric kind of guy in the movie, sort of. Yeah. But he's the whole. You just with honors. Just there's this another thing that I've always kind of been drawn to a little bit is like when he's. He's the bum. He's literally a bum in this movie, living on the streets when the movie starts. And these are elite kids that are at Harvard, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going too much into detail as far as, like, boring you now. But uh, the whole point is when he's... Brendan Fraser gets done telling him about his life. He says, so what about your life? And he says, hold on, let me show you. And he pulls out this little satchel he's got in his pocket of rocks. And he goes, that's your life? And he says... One rock for every important memory I have. And he's like, this is the best night of sleep I ever got. This is the one that got away, and this, that, and the other. And it's just, it's so compelling. Give it a shot, man. Give it a shot. I'll you too, to. give it a shot. I'll with have to. I mean, maybe, yeah, and have a drink, because I don't know about others, and I'm not going to speak for you or him, but, like, have a drink with it, because sometimes this will bring out emotion in you that sometimes you like to try to just withhold. Because... Are you saying I don't need therapy? I can just watch this movie. Uh, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm saying it to him. I'm not saying it to you. Because I'm real fucked up. Just, you know, <laughs> he is. I mean, he's not even wearing pants. You don't understand. Yes. You know, I see the dickle. Pajama I pants. do. So, I'm... <laughs> anyway, nonetheless, and notwithstanding. So, if we had to pick a winner. That's where I was headed. It, that's going to be tough not knowing difficult. the price point to that. So, price points aside, it's still a difficult decision because they all were really good. It, it these, is. These wild turkey offerings, honestly... The best I've the this is gonna be the toughest one to decide for me out of all of the episodes we've done so far. Well, 
if we're basing it on, which we've sort of mentioned before, but don't necessarily say that we are, but if, if, if price point has anything to do with it, that's oh, part of it. Down. It's the 101. But, and then you get into the single barrel. See, like he said before, that's a tough call. Because if true. you don't look for the number, which I think that one was just a number, wasn't it? Because mm -hmm. it just said, well, it said rip number 18 bar from barrel number 2400. So if it's barrel 2400, so how, why would find the another, rip... If you can find another rip, that means it's at the same altitude, same, like, you know... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Height or... Wetness in the air. Uh, humidity. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I know all about wetness. Oh, uh, man. I, I've forgotten words. i got to stop drinking. And that's not because I'm wearing a diaper. I'm not that old. Don't start making those jokes. Nice. That's um, next year's episode. So I think I know where I'm going to go. But, like... So, wait. If it's, if it's barrel number 2400 mm -hmm. from Rick number 18, does that mean... That there can't be another barrel 2400. There has to be 2401 or 2399, or can there be another barrel 2400 from a different rick? So there, there can only be a barrel 2400 from. I'm, I'm pretty sure that would be there's only one barrel 2400. Like after you go to rick 19. Warehouse A on rick number 18. I don't think they have 2400 barrels in rick 18. So the 2400 is to tell you that's the bottle you got. That's the that's, barrel. That's the barrel. The bottle from that barrel you got. Right. And this is where it was stored. So those are mm -hmm. so uh, it's information, find, but it doesn't change. Right. But if you if find it's 2400, another barrel from rick 18, it might be similar because it was at the same height, same in warehouse A. Because warehouse yes. A could be on a different campus. Like it could right. be five miles that's away. True. Um, but then so it wouldn't be find, barrel 2400, though. If it's not barrel 2400, but the other two things are the same, you then might be similar taste. Right. That makes sense. We're learning with you. I don't know all this stuff. So. He knows more than I do about some stuff. I might know some more stuff than he doesn't. We're, I, I think we're I know blending. <laughs> like a bird. So, so your um, choice? Well, okay. I think so, I know what mine is. The single barrel is questionable because, like he, like we've been talking about, if you don't find the exact same barrel, mm -hmm. you're taking a guess. You're taking it, but we, as we've just tried three wild turkeys, you're taking a fairly educated guess that there's a good chance it's going to be a little tasty. Yeah. Um, the barrel proof, as we don't have a price point on it, and we don't see it around here. And rare breed is normally 42. If this was rare breed, it would be 27, 42, 52. Okay, so it's got to be more than that. So because this Has is barrel be. proof, it could gotta be, be at least probably close to this one. So in, in price point. If you include the price point, 101 wins hands down yep. to me. And yep. he's sort of already I agree too. And honestly, if you don't, even if you, don't include, if you don't include the price point, I think I'd go with 101. Because yep. I know that that's the same consistent thing. Whereas the barrel may change. I totally agree this with This exact barrel yeah. is fantastic. But if you can't find this exact barrel, I know this is good. And I know this is almost comparable. Like, it was really hard for me to distinguish between these two in a blind test. If you were to, we, and someday, and probably next year, we're still, we're discussing all this stuff. I say yeah. this a lot. We're figuring shit out. He probably cuts this a lot because I do this a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. though. Um, probably in the new year, we're going to figure out some blinds. But it would be interesting because this is 101 and say E.H. Taylor is 100 mm -hmm. yeah. to blind it and see. And, and it's not a far price point, 45, 28. Like we're not talking 145. We're talking, right, we're talking Knob Creek 15. All those buff trace things that are hard to come by. I almost, I was going to tell you this too. I almost feel like they're kind of doing what people, what other what companies learned in like the 80s and 90s with sports cards. Where they're just realizing before other people do maybe that uh, if we put it out in mass... It becomes in mass, but even though if we put it out less, you know what I mean? You get, and I'm not saying it's not good. We've rated them high. They're good. They're good. And if they were available all the time, we'd always have a bottle on our shelves. Mm -hmm. Always. We mm -hmm. almost always do now anyway, you know, but uh, I think they're doing that thing where they're like, look, everybody's doing this. Let's just hold some back. Let's just make them kind of salivate for it. And then when you, when you do get a chance at it, you're like, ooh. Well, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's, it's somewhat so of that. And it's also the fact that bourbon culture has blown up since the mm, 80s and 90s. Yeah, like, yeah. I used to be able but to I find a like bottle Buffalo of Eagle Trace Rare. They should be able to have it everywhere. They I, should be able to have that com that capacity. I, I used to be able to find Booker's or uh, the Eagle Rare mm. anywhere. Whenever I wanted. Booker's is Jim Beam, by the way. Sure. Um, yeah. But anywhere, so whenever totally I wanted, I could find them. Right, and in the last five to even eight, Blanton's, I used to hear stories yeah, that Blanton's, Blanton's was just used to widely available all yeah. over the place. But anymore, I can't find them. 
I I have to put my get name on, on lists. lists. Yeah, yeah. I have to. We have to do unimaginable things. We got to be um, a little bit more. So the winner for me is definitely going to be one hundred and one. Me too. Me too. One hundred and ones. That was. This episode and today changed my opinion zero to say that at this point, when I include price points, one hundred and ones kind of the top of my list, and I love Eagle Rare, and it's close. Yeah, Eagle Rare is good. It's it, good stuff. It's complex it's, for the uh, proof and everything. It's a great bourbon. I'm not saying that these aren't. But no, every one of them was good. Yeah, I liked were, every one of them. Like on this, for all the shows we've done, mm -hmm. this is my favorite one that we've done so far, as far as the bourbons. I I enjoyed every single one of them. I well, there was no Town Branch, there was no Jefferson's Aged at Sea here. This <laughs> there was, was no White Dog. This was a high quality, <laughs> high quality product. They've been doing it since 1855. They know a thing or two because they've seen a thing or two. That's right. Dum 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 uh -huh. dum dum. Yeah, I like uh, <laughs> I like one of Kid Rock's lines in a song that I. Loved his first album, uh, Devil Without a Cause. Uh, I've been around, I've seen some things. I've slept in dumpsters, got high with kings. Nice. You know, I don't know. It just always resonated with me. But, so. Uh, anyway. so, yeah, that's that's our take. We're going with the 101. 101. Yeah. So, but all of, both of them, like, if, honestly. When we if you find any of these up, bottles and you want one, grab it, enjoy it, take it. The caveat being this price. If you see it for, like, 80 or 90. Yeah, let us know what the price point is on this and see where you find it. Like we could have at least, like, Googled and looked at secondaries and taken 10 or 15% off the, what they're asking, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we could try. Know. Well, but, maybe we'll put that in the comments. But Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, this has been an episode of The, the Bourbon, Bourbon Barrel. Barrel. Good night. Happy Thanksgiving.